Thomas's branch line is important, and so is Edward's. But their track and bridges are not so strong as those on the main line. Sir Topham Hatt does not allow the heavier main line engines like Gordon to run on them. But one day, the way Gordon was talking, you would have thought Sir Topham Hatt had given this order for quite another reason. It's not fair, grumbled Gordon. What isn't fair, asked Edward. Letting branch line diesels pull main line trains. Never mind, Gordon. I'm sure Boko will let you pull his freight cars sometimes. Gordon spluttered. I won't pull Boko's dirty cars on branch lines. Why not? It would be a nice change. Sir Topham Hat would never approve, huffed Gordon. Branch lines are vulgar. Gordon puffed away. Edward chuckled and followed him to the station. Every trains from the station. Gordon always leaves first with an express for the main line. Edward follows five minutes later with his train for the branch line. Usually everything runs like clockwork. Tonight, there was trouble. A lady in a green floppy hat was saying goodbye to a friend. It was nearly time for Gordon to start. The fireman looked back towards the conductor's van and saw something green waving. Right away, mate. He thought the conductor had waved his flag. Gordon started, leaving luggage, his passengers, and the conductor all standing on the platform. Everyone was very surprised and cross. To make matters worse, by the time Gordon had been stopped and brought back, Edward was already late with his train. So now he set off first. But the signalman at the junction wasn't told about the change. By mistake, he sent Edward along the main line. Gordon was sent along the branch and arrived cold and cross on one of the sidings near the harbor. Next morning, Bill and Ben peeped into the yard. There were no cars for them, but they didn't mind that. Teasing Gordon would be much better fun. What's that? asked Bill. Shh, whispered Ben. It's Gordon. It looks like Gordon, but it can't be. Gordon never comes on the branch lines. He thinks them vulgar. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard them. If it isn't Gordon, said Ben, it's just a pile of old iron, which we'd better take to the scrapyard. No, Bill, this lot's useless for scrap. We'll take it to the harbor and dump it in the sea. Gordon was alarmed. I am Gordon. Stop. Stop. When Boko suddenly arrived, Gordon thought him the most beautiful sight he had ever seen. Boko, my dear engine, save me. Boko quickly sized up the situation and threatened to take away the cars he had brought for Bill and Ben. This made the twins behave at once. Gordon thought Boko was wonderful. Those little demons, how do you do it? Ah, well, said Boko, it's just a knack. Gordon still believes that Boko saved his life, but we know the twins were only teasing, don't we?